Howdy. It's about time I did that update I promised on the Chapter 1 Remake video. This is going to be a pretty broad update video with a good number of topics, so strap in. To begin, I need to thank you all for the continued support of the Deltarune Yellow Project. It's come a long way at this point and I'm super proud of how it's turned out and hope to deliver an excellent finale for you all when Chapter 5 rolls around. As much as I'm dreading that. With Deltarune Yellow on the minds, the first major update I'd like to talk about are the endings. I've changed both the criteria needed to get them, and also removed one of them entirely. Believe me, this is not to be lazy. Lazy. Shush. Uh, anyway, I simply removed the aborted rapture ending because I couldn't figure out a logical way to have it play out. But, outside of that, I removed the morality gauge in favor of just the Deltarune recruitment system, since it would be an easier way to track the good the player has done. Oh, and I also fixed some of the communication errors in the original ending graphic I provided in the original Chapter 1 video. Moving on to WGY Tale, progress on the game is going pretty well, and I'm happy to see such a positive reaction on the project that's more personal than anything. Everyone on the team is working hard to deliver a varied, fun, and high-quality package for you all to enjoy. As of writing this, we're in Area 4 of the Normal Route, currently working on the soundtrack for the area. Stevie and I are trying our best to have a wide range of styles and atmosphere for each area, and Isaiah is providing some great sprite work for- OBJECTION! Hey, shut up, you liar! My sprites aren't that good! Yes, they are. Stop pretending they're not. Pretending? How dare you! I'm just speaking the truth. Shut up, please. We do this enough in the GC, we don't need it in video too. Fair enough. <sighs> Fine. Back to the script. Honestly, if everything here turns out how we're hoping, this probably could be, objectively, the best area in the game. We hope it'll be one of your favorites, at least. Outside of that, we still have three more areas to go excluding going back and recoding for all of the different routes and endings. So, yeah, we've got a long way to go before this game is done, and we don't have any intent to make another demo prior to the game's launch. Which, speaking of, when is it? Long story short, I don't know. Unlike Deltarune Yellow, which was made as a YouTube series first and structured as such, this is a full game. It's not a one-and-done thing. Lots of stuff needs to be polished and adjusted as we go along. Personally, with how it's going, I'd expect at least a year before the full game's release. But who knows, could be sooner if we get super motivated or something. Also, I'm gonna try and clear up some confusion regarding the canons here. Deltarune Yellow and WGY Tale take place in separate but connected canons. The Eastville that has been mentioned in WGY Tale is an alternate, essentially bubble reality of Eastville where the events of the original Chapter 1 video and Chapters 2, Parts 1 and 2, have occurred. Chapter 3 and onward have not been done, as those were made after the events of the wipe, and after I remade or recovered all the assets used in the series. This Eastville continues to live out its own canon in the WGY Tale universe, separate from the main canon of Deltarune Yellow. Although, you can gather some insight on characters from Deltarune Yellow through this alternate canon. Like Kana. Which, also a small explanation about that. Kana is the name we've given to Peanut Kaneko after the events of WGY Tale, to try and not be as offensive towards her. And if you don't know who Peanut Kaneko is, you haven't watched Deltarune Yellow, nor my Undertale Yellow streams. So like and subscribe! Do it! That was a warning shot. Lastly, and the shortest of all, my community posts. I love keeping in touch with you all. It's kind of a blessing that I have a smaller community, since it allows me to form closer connections with you all who support my work. I'm very thankful for you all, and try to post daily so I can keep you all engaged. But with how hectic my life has become as of late, that's not as viable of an option as it used to be. So I'm gonna have to cut back on them. Nothing drastic, just more akin to every other day. Of course, there will always be a post on Martlet Mondays. I physically cannot allow myself to miss those. Marblet. You can start to expect certain days to be skipped, 
But, as a bonus for this, I'm going to start trying to make my post art more detailed. Background and such where, previously, the all-consuming white void was. I've been there too many times. I hope you all will be okay with this change, as I kind of need to lower my stress with all of this. Admittedly, it has gotten to me here and there, but I do find rest in my work, so it balances out. That's all for now. By the time this video releases, we should have begun production on Chapter 4 for Delta in Yellow, so look forward to Part 1 of that coming within a month or two. Until then, catch you all on the flip side.